Welcome to all. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to interact with a Cisco device using Python Telnet Lib. I have already created a tutorial about Automation Lab in GNS3. I will put a link in the description for further reference. In this lab, I'm using a Microsoft Loopback adapter to connect my host PC with a Cisco switch in GNS3. I have added a multi-layer switch and two routers. The IP address scheme is 192.168.10.0/24. The Telnet lib is a Python module that provides a Telnet class that implements the Telnet protocol. Python's Telnet lib module lets you easily automate access to Telnet devices, even from non-Unix machines. The Telnet lib library is already included in the Python package. But I want to mention to you that Telnet lib has been deprecated since version 3.11 and will be removed in version 3.13. Telnet class made a connection to a Telnet server which is a network device in my case. The instance is initially not connected by default. The open method must be used to establish a connection. Alternatively, the hostname and optional port number can be passed directly, which you see in this lab. This class has many methods. If you want how these methods work, see the documentation for help. Telnet is easy to configure but is not used anymore since it is insecure. Everything you do is sent in plain text, but is good for a lab to understand how automation work. Open the VS Code editor if you have, or any text editor of your choice. I have created a folder on the desktop for the lab to save Python code. You can choose any folder of your choice. Open the folder in the VS Code. Open the terminal, my default terminal is PowerShell. But I have not used the PowerShell for automation. I used Ubuntu WSL in this lab. From the menu, select Ubuntu if you have installed it. If not installed, you can also go with the PowerShell as the procedure are same for both terminals. As you see, I'm in my Telnet lib folder on my desktop. In the first step, check ping for network connectivity between the host PC and GNS3 devices. As you see, the ping is good with switch. Now check the routers. All is good and working. All devices IPs are reachable from the host PC. The next step is the code execution on these nodes. First, we will run the above code from the Python shell as you are seeing on screen. IPython 3 provides better visual using Python interactively and a powerful interactive Python shell. Import Telnet class from Telnet lib module. In the next step, create an instance from the Telnet class. Pass the hostname and optional port number, which defaults to the standard Telnet port 23, to the constructor. Now the connection is established. The next step is sending the commands to the device with the Telnet lib method. The right method sends a byte string to the socket. To send Cisco commands you can use B for byte before the Python string. In this step, now we send the username of the device. 
After that, enter the password. Now send the Cisco command. Type the exit command in last. To print the output we need another method, which is read all method. The read all method sends back the output in a byte string, which is difficult to understand by a human, so we need this to decode in a normal string. As you see, I am interacting with a device as if someone typed in the command from a terminal and the device thinks that they are interfacing with a human but actually is connected with a computer. This is a switch IP. Now exit from the Python shell. In the next step, I will run the Python script from the bash shell. Change the IP to check the next device. As you see that work well and how fast. In the end, we check the last device also. That's too good. I use two methods of the Telnet lib module, but we can use other methods too. If you scroll down, there is a Python example made by the community as a standard way of using the module. In the next video, I will demonstrate this script, that's the end. Thanks.